Attempt to lock on or get to the target. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Gibbon here today with something that you've not seen for a little while from me, I've been playing it but just I haven't played it and recorded it and brought a video to you. I hope you enjoyed that little introduction there, I love it when you get to do the melee attack on somebody and I have to say coming back to this game is like getting yourself into a warm blanket and then once that warm blanket's been turned on long enough there is that ever shuddering scary feeling that you have actually pissed yourself because the heat has just taken it to you too much you know how it happens to old people sometimes to get a little bit warm and, and they generally tend to wet themselves purely the thing that was really really annoying me um or annoyed me for a little while whilst i was playing this game and it's it's not anybody's fault really i suppose i've been out of the loop a little bit playing this game so it's bound to happen eventually um, everybody seems to be running around in the Ronin Titan, so you think that you're about to like put your rocket barrage onto somebody, and then just out of nowhere they just morph and disappear into into dead space completely. Um, you've then got pilots that are just all using the same thing, so they've got the um, uh, they've got the cloak on, and then they're all running with the Spitfire LMG sat on top of a building somewhere um which makes me incredibly difficult to see and they just pop about an hour and decide to slap you in the back so it took a couple of games to get this gameplay for you my my intention was actually to do this live um and just sort of live comment what i'm doing but i tend to find when i'm playing this game in particular that i seem to concentrate an awful lot more so if i was to do a live com of this there would probably only be about a minute and 30 seconds worth of gameplay with me actually talking and saying something that didn't involve the word fuck shit you bastard you camper bollocks to you this game sucks for fuck's sake so it would have been pointless trying to do it in that way anyways so i decided to just try and get a decent-ish gameplay and bring you that gameplay with me jibber-jabbering over. Hopefully, what you can't hear outside is the absolute sonic typhoon that is going on outside my house at the moment. By typhoon, I just mean a strong wind, not the rain that goes with it as well. Basically, our house is on the corner of a street and it's quite high up. It's quite raised up off of the ground. So when the wind whips round, it's almost like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's like the house is going to take off, basically. And you can hear all the creaks and the whistles and everything. And because it's now that time of year and we're getting into March, fucking birds are now nesting in the top of my roof, which is exactly right above where mine and Emma's bedroom is. So you can hear them scurrying around like little rats and tweeting really early in the morning, wanting food and stuff. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but it's just something that popped into my head because of the wind. Every fucking year we've said the same thing. We're going to get up a ladder and block the hole, and we haven't done, so we have to let them nest, and you can't do anything until they've left the nest. It's one of them really weird things. Once birds are nesting somewhere, you can't actually move the nest. It's illegal to do that. Um, RSPB, Royal Society for the Protection of Birds. I think that's what it's called. Um, look, they frown upon that. They really do frown upon that. It's like my um, company that I work for. We're having a new office built, a new factory and everything. And um, there's a bush. And I'm not joking, this bush is literally three foot tall by a foot wide. And they're not allowed to touch it because every now and then bats migrate into it. I shit you not. They have to move the entire building like two or three foot to the left, as you look at it, to accommodate said bush. Seriously, that's how... Yes, I get for conservation and all that kind of stuff. That's fine. It's not a problem at all. But seriously, a bush that big, and it's maybe one or two bats go in there. 
I don't know, just one of those weird things. Another little weird story for you. Um, so, Emma's doing bits and pieces yesterday. Uh, and I hear this, like, Whoa! noise. Whoa! Whoa! I'm like, Emma, what's the matter with you? There's a frog at the door. What do you mean there's a frog at the door? And you don't, I don't know why, but you just imagine this frog from, like, Wind in the Willows. You know, with the top hat on and everything. Stood at the door. Well, hello, I just wondered if I could come in and borrow a cup of sugar, please. Thank you very much. That type of frog. Um, actually, no, Emma thought it was a toad. So my response was, well, is it big or is it small? And it wasn't. It was small, so it wasn't a toad. It was just a frog. We do get frogs occasionally in the back garden. The reason being is because we live near becks and streams. And there's a golf course near us as well, and there's a stream that runs down that, and the frogs tend to migrate up. But the funny thing was is that Emma went and opened the door again, and the frog had climbed up onto the, like, the ledge of the step. I <laughs> shit you not. This frog stuck its head through the door, and you could see its nostrils flaring, having a bit of a sniff. I think it wanted to come in and have a bit of a chat and a sit down and a cup of tea. Emma can't touch stuff like that, and uh, frogs can be slightly poisonous to pets as well, so I need to keep them away. Roger, my cat, has a history of going outside and licking frogs and coming back like he's fucked up on acid. It's the best way that I can describe it. It's like he can... He can... He can see sounds and smell colours. That's the way that he acts when he goes out licking frogs, because that's what he does on a Saturday night, because he's a party animal. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this video. That This has been really random. Um, it's another random ramble, but oh, whatever. Titanfall, it's really good to be playing you again. It's nice to get back in the saddle, so to speak. I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay. If you have, please don't forget to click the like button. If you're new, please also don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> We're out of here. Peace.